Hey, Julio, thank you so much for giving me the opportunity to share this custom video for you. Um, I've done some pretty extensive research on H and Z roofers and services. So yeah, let's go ahead and just jump right in so I can share that with you. Now, when your future customers are searching for your services, such as roofing in Powder Springs, Georgia, what comes up here is the Google Map Pack right and that's this right here so ideally we want businesses to be found in the top three spots because that's what's instantly shown in the google results now when i searched for your business you guys i went to the fourth or sixth page and i didn't see you guys um so i'm assuming you're in about the 60 second position for this keyword and I noticed that you don't have a ton of Google reviews. And the reason why you're probably in the, in the 67th position is because your business is based in uh, Powder Springs. However, this Google business profile says Atlanta and nearby areas. So you might want to change this. You're going to need to change this to the number uh, to the area where you are located first your your number one area which is powder springs that is listed across the better business bureau etc right um and also this is telling me that you are going to have to add some more citations anytime your business name address and phone number are listed throughout the world wide web or throughout different directories such as yelp yellow pages etc um, that's considered a citation. So you'll want to take as many as your top competitor has. So that right here is Roof Expert and add an additional 50 citations on top of that amount because what that does is it puts you in a good safe zone by adding a gap in between so you can main, maintain your ranking once you're up in these higher listings. Now, the second thing that people are seeing when they search for your services are this area right here, which is called organic listings. Now, these are the absolute most important because nine times out of 10, when anyone is searching for something, uh, is going to go with the company that has some reference on the first page and at the top of these ranks right here. Okay. I did take a look down all the way the first and second page and I didn't see H and Z roofers. And I'll be honest with you, I stopped at that point, Julio, because the fact of the matter is that anyone searching for something, whether it be a product, a service, is just generally not going to go past the first page, but it's certainly not going to go past the second. All right. So with that being said, what I did, I went ahead and I pulled up this top competitor right here, um, Dr. Roof. Actually, let's go ahead and pull them up in this search here and take a look at their business now um and i also pulled your site as well i'm going to jump over to your website because i i do want to say i like how clean it looks you have a good looking website right but there just isn't enough information on it it, it, it kind of looks like maybe it's fairly new or or um you're still in the process of completing it but I would say definitely add a call to action. So when somebody does land on your website, um, they are able to, especially if they're using their mobile phone, which 90% of businesses, 90% um, of people are searching for things on their phone. You want a phone number here that they can click and immediately call uh, from your page. But understand that Google is constantly crawling the site and they're crawling it 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Um, they're crawling the internet for every single site that's on there. And what they're looking for is what's called command content. And command content means you have at least 1,500 words of content on the homepage of your website. And what they like to see inside of those 1,500 words are organic keywords, okay? So if those changes were made, because let's take a look at your competitor reliable roof repair or uh, drroof.com right um their website is very busy right and, and in this instance you know they it's kind of like a blog they have a lot of reviews so in this instance kind of less is more like i told you google wants to see at least 1500 words of content they just have a lot of moving parts a lot of different pages on the home page so you know i would definitely say to keep it simple 
right? Because they, they have a lot of information going on. Keep it simple and add the 1500 words of content to your homepage of your website. And you'll notice that will help you and you'll see an increase for your site as far as those organic listings. Okay. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at one more thing here and that is in regards to this section as well i pulled you guys up in this tool that i use called rfs it lets me see the back end of a website it shows me that not a whole lot is going on with you guys i'm wondering that you are very new congratulations to you on that right um and i went ahead and pulled up the competitor so you could figure out and take a look and see what exactly is it that you need to add to your website so you can start getting ranked so for example roof repair john's creek right this keyword right here 900 people search for this keyword per month this company gets 320 calls from that one keyword and they're in the number one position so they get 320 leads out of those 900 you see that um, roof replacement Johns Creek a thousand people look for that per month they get 222 calls and there is they're in the number one position so you know these are buyer intent keywords people are looking for this people are looking for roof replacement and you offer these same services so there's no reason why a, a huge portion of this should not be going to your company and you could start seeing your organic traffic increase so these keywords that i'm talking about this is the command keywords that i'm mentioning in regards to what you need to add to your home page specifically of your website so go ahead and get the content increased um and again, you know, that's pretty, oh, and also the photos. Last thing I want to go over with you, the photos. Make sure you save the photos as the keywords because even though the Google robots aren't looking at how gorgeous your website is, right, um, they are looking at the keywords. And unless somebody already knows to look for H and Z roofers and services, you want to want to save this as one of the keywords that you want to get ranked for. All right, that's all I have for you, Julio. If you want some help with this, I'm more than happy to assist. Feel free to give me a call. My number will be in the email. Have a good day.